how do you describe the work that you do or want to do with clients? So that's what I, I'm going to give you an exercise in this video that I hope will help. And as I walk through this exercise, and uh, my cat says hello, uh, as I walk through this exercise, I invite you to comment below with your responses to each question. Now, uh, if you think better by speaking, then you may want to you know, pause this video after each question and record your answers into your phone or whatever audio recording. And there is no wrong answer. You are simply allowing yourself to intuit what, what words and phrases and ideas are coming through, what stories, okay? So uh, if you uh, would like to, go ahead and comment below with your answers to each question. Um, who knows, maybe somebody watching this or reading the comments will be your ideal client or no, no people who are ideal clients to refer to you. So the first thing to start with is to imagine who your ideal client is. So think about somebody, could be somebody you know, or it could be an imaginary person who is at a time in their life where they are just ready and ripe to work with you. So they maybe has something, you know, maybe they've been going through a particular problem or struggle for a long time, or maybe it's new, uh, a, a new problem or struggle. Maybe they've been yearning to transform or, or become something or to learn how to do something, and now is the time for them to learn it from you. So the ideal client, the person who is so ready and, and open to working with you, the person who uh, just really enjoys your style, they just love the way you talk, uh, your ideas, the way you think, uh, the way you work with people. They just love that about you. They accept you for exactly who you are, and they can't wait to work with you. So who is that person? Tell, tell me anything you know about them. And I have, I have a couple notes here that I want to read through. So is there, is there anything specific that would help, help you to, um, to, to imagine them? Maybe it's a specific... Is it, a, is it a man or a woman? Is it a, uh, what, what age uh, or age range are they? Um, what, what, what do they do for, their, for, for work? What's their profession? Um, what do they look like? What do they sound like? I mean, anything specific that will help you to imagine that ideal client, the person who, who loves your style, they love your, your ideas and your thoughts and the way you work, and they're so ready to, to, to do work with you to, to help them out. And, and by the way, this ideal client type of person might change over time, it might be a different kind of person you work with in, in a couple years or even in a couple months. But what do you know right now or what, what, do you, uh, what might it be right now? Go ahead and comment below. And I'm just going to pause on this video right now, even though this is a live video, I'm going to pause for 20 seconds. Uh, whether or not you comment or not, at least it'll give you 20 seconds of silence to think about it. All right, go for it. Okay, all right. So hopefully you've brought somebody to mind or you've written something below. Uh, now, the next question is, now imagine that they have come to work with you now. They're, uh, they're one of your clients now, okay? And the, it, you know, what is the work that you're doing with them? So that's, that's really the next question. In, in the sessions that you have with them, if you're a, a coach, mentor, consultant, healer, you know, you, you facilitate, you have some kind of session with your clients, right? You, you meet one-on-one -on -one with them or in a group or whatever. <clears throat> what is the work that you're doing with them? Have an imagination of that now. What, what, what do you see yourself doing with them? That you're so, you just so feel so alive doing this kind of transformational work with your client, whether it's transformational work or whether it's consulting on a particular issue or whether it's healing or whether it's, it's teaching them something uh, or it's um, walking them through a particular process, or whatever it is, what are you doing with them? What are you doing with them right now in, in that session with them? 
Um, yeah, anything you want to, uh, and by the way, um, yeah, comment below if you want to write anything that you can see yourself doing with, with that ideal client below. Um, and it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Don't try to think about an eloquent way of saying it or a, a poetic way. Just speak plainly for now. Just like, here's what I see myself doing with them. So again, 20 seconds, go ahead now. Okay. Was that helpful to, well, can you imagine what you're doing with them? What would you, again, if, if you're, if, you, if you've already been doing stuff with, with clients and maybe you could just think about a recent ideal client and what you felt so alive doing with them. If it's, if it's a, uh, if you're just trying to figure out what you want to do for the rest of your life, then think about that. What would you love to be doing with a client? You know? Um, and when I say for the rest of your life, I really should, uh, clarify that I think when it comes to an authentic business our work continues to evolve over the years so it's not true that we're gonna be doing the same thing for the rest of our lives it's probably not true uh, no matter how much you love a work honestly so just what what you would love to be doing now you know or or soon anyway. okay so the next question I have for you is now imagine that the client is completing their their work with you now okay um, maybe they've worked with you for a year or maybe it's just three sessions or whatever your package is they, they are they are they are completing their work with you now what are they saying to you what are they saying to you like oh my god I'm there it's like a, it's like a, a it's like a, a special time in the meeting where they're, they're just wanting to, to tell you how much the work has meant to them what are they saying to you what could you imagine them saying that ideal client who has done the work that you feel so alive, what is that person saying to you now? Again, I'm gonna give you 20 seconds to imagine that. If you wanna write that down below, go ahead. Okay. What else is different about them that you notice? Maybe it's not something they've said, but you notice, oh, I notice that you now have more capacity to do this than, than before. Uh, or maybe um, this challenge that you didn't remember that challenge you came to me with. Well, isn't that wonderful that it's resolving itself now or it's being resolved or whatever it may be. So what else, what else have you noticed is different about them uh, now that they've worked with you? What's different about their life, their, their relationships, their health, whatever it is that, that has resulted uh, in part thanks to the work with you? Again, I'll give you 20 seconds. Okay, the next question, uh, and I think this might be the final question, is now that you have thought about your ideal client, the kind of work you'd love to be doing with them, the kind of results you would love to be getting with your ideal clients, now let's think about what it was like before they started working with you. I know it's kind of a, a strange order of things, but. I find that sometimes it's it's hard to think about the, the before until you think about the work you love doing, what happens afterwards. So let's now let's now think about, especially since you've brainstormed or written down the the the, the during and the after. Now hopefully it's a little bit easier to, to to work on the before. Before they came to you, what was their life like? What were they yearning for? What were what was was there something painful uh, for them, if if anything? Um, 
was there something they, they would say is missing in their life? Some gap in their knowledge or, or experiences that they want to have. And why did they finally decide to seek you out or someone like you? Was there some kind of event that happened? Something, something that happened in, in their life, in their health, in their work, some, some conflict? Someone something said something. To, some uh, someone said something to them that was really got them to really reflect. Was it a, a chronic situation that finally got to be too much, and they they're, they're ready to they're ready to, uh, to to make a change? So, what was the before picture in their life? Again, I'll give you twenty seconds to reflect on this and comment below. Now, so what you've just done, if you've answered the questions, is you have drafted your work with me page or your service page or the, basically the sales page for the, the service that you would like to be doing with your ideal client. You've just made a draft of it. And um, it's not the final draft, but it gives you some ideas to work with now, maybe some stories, uh, maybe some phrases that kind of came through as you were, as you were uh, thinking about this. And what I invite you to do now is to put away this draft, sleep on it basically, uh, for a day or a week, and then come back to this exercise, to this video if you would like to, uh, or the, the, the questions that I ask, come back to this after you slept on it for a day or a week. And Answer the questions again without referring back to the first draft. So the second draft should be totally new. That's why you, you know, put it away, put away the first, second draft totally new. And, and you may come up with totally different answers or maybe very much the same. It's okay. Either way, give yourself a second pass at these questions. Now, once you've given yourself a second pass at them, put that second draft away for a day or a week, and then come back. And in the third pass, instead of answering these questions again, you take the first two drafts, okay? I mean, you really can repeat this as many times as you, as you want to, but, but let's say you're, you've drafted it twice. The third time, you can simply take these two drafts and integrate them. Are there certain phrases, certain sentences from one or the other that you really like? Put them together integrate them into one single document. And then with this, with this integrated draft, you can now run it by your audience. You can ask if you have an audience and if you aren't shy about asking them for, for their feedback, create a Google document, put it there, and then click on share. Anyone with the link can comment so that you put the link in your social media or newsletter or whatever and say, hey, I'm I'm, I'm refreshing the way I describe how I work with clients. What do you think about this? Any thoughts, any suggestions? You know, go ahead and add your suggestions in there. And uh, I have a three-minute tutorial how to use Google Docs to, to do this commenting stuff that you can send to your email list if you want or you can make your own. Um, and if you don't want to share it with your email list and audience, just pick out a couple of Facebook uh, friends, to Facebook or not, we got a couple of friends or colleagues who are similar to your ideal client. They're, they're, they're kind of like your ideal client and ask them for feedback. And the reason why it's important to ask for feedback on this rather than just go to a copywriter or go to a business coach or marketing consultant and say, all right, let's figure this out or let's, let's finalize this is that it doesn't matter what the, what a business coach like me or marketing consultant or whatever what will tell you. It matters what the market tells you. Now, ideally, you get this unbiased, you get unbiased, ideally, you would get unbiased feedback from people who are not your friends. Now, it's kind of hard to find people who are not your friends who are willing to give you feedback who are also part of your ideal client pool. 
I mean, you could even ask your friends, hey, do you know anybody who's like this, who is willing to give some honest feedback on, on something? You could ask about that. I mean, you might find a couple people like that. Um, so one caution about friends is when you ask friends or colleagues who want to be nice to you, ask them to give you honest feedback, not just praise, to, to be really uh, uh, constructive, to not be afraid to give you, you know, complete changes or ask you to change everything or whatever. Because otherwise, you're just going to have friends saying, oh, that was great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. Oh, yeah. This is perfect. You know, oh, yeah. You're wonderful. You know, that's, that's, uh, that is almost worse than having no feedback because you are being validated in, in a particular way of describing your services that maybe the market doesn't actually want. And so this is why it's important to develop this in partnership with one's ideal clients. Now, use whatever method you can. Like I've said, brainstorm, think about how you might want to do that. And um, ultimately, though, ultimately, you have to put it together onto a web page or a, or a post, Facebook post or something, and actually ask people, here it is. Here's what I love doing with clients. Um, would you like to work with me? I have you know, some client spots right now. I'd love to answer any questions you have, or we could do a, a complimentary you know, exploratory session to see if you want to do this work. Ultimately, you have to do that. And ultimately, it's the market will, that will tell you, oh, yeah, I res really resonate with this. I do want to do this work. Or I have some questions. What do you mean by this? Or uh, how much you charge? Or, you know, when they start saying how much you charge, when they start asking you that, that's a good sign. That means they're interested. And now they want to see how they want to value it. Uh, how much you charge answering that question is a, is a, is a, is a separate video or post that I should, you know, I'll probably write up at some point. But I think I have, actually. I'm pretty sure I have written it in <laughs> one of my hundreds of videos by, by this point. But, um, but you just have to put it out there. And, and the market will, will give you their feedback. And over time, you will keep tweaking this. This is not a one-time exercise. You do once and you're done for the rest of your life. This is something you keep coming back to as in partnership with the feedback you're getting so that it gets more and more resonant with your ideal clients. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, I look forward to your answers as you, as you work through this. And uh, thanks to those who are joining me here, Terry and Sharon, Matt. Thank you, Stacy, Prem, Yul, Caroline. Thank you all for joining me live and uh, with that I'll sign off here and I look forward to seeing anything you want to write below you can you can brainstorm in the comments below uh, or you you know and you could even share a, a, an updated draft or a third draft or whatever you want feel free to use the comments below as a as a just a way to practice and who knows somebody reading this these comments might um, might get inspired uh, you might help them out to kind of get going with it or who knows? They might know uh, an ideal client for you. All right. With that, I will see you in the next video. Be well.